Hi, this is Dr. Kling. I'm uh, a teacher of a AP Statistics, and here I'm going to demonstrate uh, something I'm trying called Alex.com. I'm pretending to be a statistics student using this software. Um, and I'm just going to start in the middle, and then I'll uh, I'll step back and explain what's going on. Uh, <coughs> so what I've just done is a sample problem. Uh, that involves using the central limit theorem for sample proportions. What you're uh, doing is uh, the sampling distribution of a sample proportion. So I've just gotten one problem right, and now it says if I can do three more, uh, then uh, I'll sort of have mastered this or uh, seemingly mastered this topic. So I hit practice, and I get a new problem. Um, so we get 625 subjects. That's nice because the square root is 25. That's a simple number. Um, okay, the historical record says 80% of this, so the mean is going to be 0.8 of the distribution. The standard deviation is going to be the square root of 0.8 <coughs> times 0.2, um, which is 0.4 divided by uh, 25, square root of n, so 0.4 divided by 25 um, is what, 0 0.016 I'm going to say, hope that's right, I'm going to check it on the calculator, and now I want to do a, a z calculation for probably that will be greater than 0.84, so first of all let's just check that. Um, let me do the uh, 0.8, let's do, let's do the square root of 0.8 times 0.2, and that when we divide it by the square root of 625 or 25, and uh, lo and behold, my 0.016 was right, and so now I'm going to create a z variable, which is 0.84 minus 0.80, or 0.04. Um, divided by that 0.016, or 2.5. Um, so we we have a a norm CDF up to and including 2.5 and then we take 1 minus that because we wanted to get greater than so we'll do minus 1 so 0 0.0062 I think they want 4 decimal places 0 0.0062 so if we can get that Okay, so I got the right answer, and I, if I do it two more times, it says I will add this to my pi. So let me just show you what that would mean. Okay, so this is an assessment of what I know about statistics based on what I've been telling you. So apparently, I, my mathematical readiness is fine. I need a little bit more with descriptive statistics. What I'm doing right now is this random variables. This is the unit, the central limit theorem sample proportion that I'm in the middle of now. <coughs> um, and you can see overall there are 116 topics grouped into, what, seven categories. You've got regression, you've got chi-square, you've got probability, mathematical readiness, random distribution, descriptive statistics, confidence intervals. You notice there's really nothing on statistical methodology here, sampling methods and so on, or experimental design. Um, but there is a but there's these very precise 116 chunks of knowledge um, and you kind of go through them in sort of this spirally sequence uh, you, you can kind of pick whatever you want except that for instance in confidence intervals even though there are I've only completed 2 out of 22 so I've completed very little it only shows me two more possibilities so I, I'll have to <laughs> either complete those units or perhaps complete some other units here before it'll show me more units on confidence intervals. So um, 
The idea of this, uh, the be benefit is that it's got very customized assessment. It sort of gives you, if you're weak in an area, it'll just keep giving you more problems to practice and it'll give you explanations uh, of what, what you're doing wrong. And if it, um, and then if you re when you're ready to move on, it, it's ready to move on, and so on. It's very much a kind of a drill and kill kind of approach. Um, you know, when we see, you know, by the time you've seen the third problem, you say, "Oh, come on, I know this. You know, don't make me do it again." And then you, you know, if you make a little mistake, then that's going to make you do more. So it, it really. Um, um, if you hate drill, if you've got an ideological problem with drill, you won't like this. Uh, but I think there's a lot of evidence, uh, Daniel Willingham and so on, that, that drill actually does help people uh, develop confidence and uh, is actually a key to, uh, to learning something. So that's my little demonstration of Alex. I don't know if... Um, if the Alex people will get upset with me for for doing this, if they do, I'll, I'll take it down. But I thought it'd be easier to show how it works uh, than to just try to explain it without showing it. And uh, you know, people are welcome to try it. Alex allows free trials and so on. Uh, so that's it.